go, go, go! Let's do this. Ooh, it is hot. It is hot here in Ohio at this uh, Cincinnati Kroger distribution. What's up, everybody? What's going on? Lockout men here. About to make another phone call for you guys. The first call was to Crate Carriers, which was a pretty good video. I had pretty good views on it and had a very good conversation with some of my subscribers uh, pertaining to Crate Carriers. So if you guys interested in the uh, crate carriers and finding out more about them, check out the video. Link is in the description and also somewhere up here. I don't know. Today uh, episode is going to be uh, just about the same. You know, I'm going to go ahead and make the call to uh, to a carrier and uh, get information. But this time I'm doing it different, all right? So instead of using my list of questions that I have right here, I have a subscriber. He has a list of questions for me to ask. So what I'm gonna do is uh, ask all of his questions first. This questions come from Jarvis Jones. Thank you for being a subscriber, bud. I really do appreciate it. All right, today I am about to call Dick Levy. Levy? Levy. I might be pronouncing it wrong. L-A-V-Y. They are hiring. They claim that you can get $71,760 in the first year. And they said they can have you home most weekends. Hmm. Most weekends. Let's see what uh, Dick LeVay is talking about. Dick Levy Trucking. Michelle, let me help you. Yes. Uh, what's your name again? Michelle? Shelly. Oh, Shelly. How you doing this morning? Okay. All right, my name's Sean. I'm I'm calling. It, are you a recruiter? Yes, I am. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm calling to get some information about the company. I uh, got a few questions I like to ask, if you don't mind. Is there any slip seating in the company? No. No slip seating. All right. You guys offer life insurance, um, 401k, health insurance, and all that good stuff. We do. All right. Do you guys reimburse for way tickets? We do. Okay. Now, how often do you rotate your trailers, the the, the older trailers out? Um, I'm not sure on, on that one, but all of our equipment mm -hmm. is um, very well maintained mm -hmm. and all late model. Oh, okay, okay. So, like, we are cycling out our 2015 trucks and bringing in 2018 right now. Okay, okay. What, um... What's the trucks governing that? 67 with the cruise, 65 on the pedal. Okay, okay. What is the driver turnaround there? Uh, about 26%. Okay, okay. CPM, so for for graduates out of uh, out of truck driving school? We do not hire graduates. We do require that each driver has at least 12 months. Uh, verifiable recent over the road experience. Okay, okay. You have a you have a team rate. Oh, we do not have teams. Okay. Hey, you, do you know how many drivers are assigned to a fleet manager or to a certain fleet? Um, we just have one fleet, mm -hmm. and we have um, three driver managers. Okay. So all of our, our drivers are, are split up between the three of, of those okay. individuals. All right. Do you guys stack loads? Like if, for example, I get a load and a pre plan and I, I will have another pre-plan ready for me before I finish On occasion. Huh? On occasion they do. I, I can't really think of them not in dispatch. Oh, okay, okay. 
All right. Do you I'm the recruiter. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Do you guys have a open door policy? We do. All right. All the miles. Is all the miles paid? And is it hub miles or zip code to zip code? The zip code to zip code. All right. And all miles paid, including loaded and uh, empty? Exactly. All right. Do you guys have a refresher course for... We do not. Okay. Okay. We do require 12 months of recent over-the-road experience, verifiable over-the-road experience. All right. The orientation, how long is it and is it paid for? It is a $200 orientation bonus, two to two and a half days. You come in on Tuesday, you leave out Thursday late morning, early Thursday afternoon. All right, for some for some God forsaken reason, I, I I don't make it through the orientation. Would you guys get me back home? No. Okay. So, that would be your responsibility. Okay, so that would be my responsibility. All right. Uh, there would be no reason why you wouldn't make it through orientation um, other than you lied on your application. Uh, okay. No, we, we're not going to be... Or you... Or you did not pass your, your driving test. I got you. I get it. There won't be no lying over on, on the application, that's for sure. What's the what's the average CPM to start? Um, it depends how long have you been driving. Uh two years. Okay. Do you have your half mat? No, ma'am. Okay. Forty three cents a mile. And if you obtain your half mat endorsement, then your pay would increase to forty five cents per mile. Okay. Uh, would you guys help me in getting my hazmat if if need be? Mm, no. Okay, so there's no reimbursement for that. There is not, but um, it's two cents per mile whether you're pulling a hazmat load or not. And less than one percent of our loads are going to be hazmat. So what's the average miles uh, a driver could get mm, per week? Twenty-two hundred to three thousand. All right. We do utilize Evox, Transflow, and Qualcomm as well. Layover pay and detention pay? We do have layover and detention. Detention pay is $16 an hour. After your first two hours detained, up to five hours. Mm -hmm. And layover is $100. And that is after the after 24 hours. All the right. time starts after your empty call to dispatch right. until you're dispatched out on your next load. Now let me ask you this. Are you, is, is layover pay can that be paid out on Sundays as well? Mm, I don't believe so. Okay. All right. You guys offer a sign-on bonus, and if so, what is it? It's fifteen hundred dollars, and it's paid out within ninety days. Okay. And it's three installments of five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And you get your first installment after thirty. Your second installment after sixty days, and then the final installment after ninety days. Okay. Uh, what lanes do you guys offer? Do you guys offer... We lanes? run everything east of the Mississippi. We go as far north as Belfast, Maine, as far south as Miami, Florida, and as far west as Laredo, Texas. Okay. We do not have anything dedicated, and we don't have anything regional. We're all over the road. Okay, okay. You guys pull, I mean, we pull drive-in, reefers, tankers, and flatbeds? 53-foot drive-ins. Uh, what's the pet policy there? We do not have a pet policy. What type of equipment uh, do you guys have? Two, 2015 to 2017 Freightliners and Volvos. And again, we are um, cycling out our older 2015 and bringing in 2018. All of our equipment is reliable, well-maintained, top-notch, and clean. We do have Ohio's number one ranked diesel tech on site in our shop, which is open seven days a week. And he is nationally ranked as well. Okay. Inside the tractors, do you guys offer APUs, inverters? We do not. Our trucks are smart weight compatible. Therefore, because of our safer emissions, we are able to idle, even in states where idling is not permitted. And if it, if it is 63 degrees or above, the drivers can idle. And if it does get um, chilly at night or it, it's colder out, we do have bunk heaters to keep the drivers warm. However, if it does get brutally cold outside, of course, you are permitted to idle. Okay. Uh, is the uh, trucks automatics, 10 speeds, or back? They, our, our entire fleet is automatic. Okay. Uh, cameras uh, inside? We do not have cameras. 
camera. All right, so as far as um, as far as a felon uh, for a felon uh, coming on into the trucking into the trucking field, what's your what's your guys' policy on felons? How much, okay, do you have a felony? Do I have a felony? No, but yeah. no, I, I no, I don't have a felony. Okay, um, we it, it has to be at least ten years or older. Ten years or older. Mm -hmm. All right. Truck parking, can we take the trucks home? You can take the truck home as long as you do have a safe, secure place to park. The only time you would not be permitted to take the truck home is when you are on vacation. Oh, okay, that would that, that brings up my next question. So, uh, do you guys offer holiday pay and vacation? We do. We have um, 16 holidays a year, and drivers are eligible for a week of vacation after one year of service two weeks after three years of service and three weeks after five years of service. Okay. And of course you guys run all 48 or over the road. No, we, like I said, we run everything east of the Mississippi. Right. We go as far north as Belfast, Maine. Right. Again, we go as far south as Miami, Florida and as far west as Laredo, Texas. Is every is everything forced this? Uh, yes, it is. However, we will work with a, dis uh, with a driver Okay. So after a year, how much would a driver can make with the company after a year? Um, it depends. All of our drivers uh, make different um, pay per mile simply because we have drivers that have been with us for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And we used to have drivers that have been with us for just a year. Um, with a hazmat, um, you're looking at, let's say... Um, Do you have any... Do you have anything that I probably didn't touch on that you can probably relate to me? Oh, we do have a rider policy. Okay. And you can have someone ride with you as long as they're seven years of age. Okay. Or older. Okay. At no cost. Okay. Between March 15th and November 15th. Up to two weeks at a time, up to four times per year. Okay. It's DickLavyTrucking.com. And that's L A V as in Victor Y, mm -hmm. trucking.com. And you'd simply click on the green box, and it'll take you straight to the Intel app. Now, if you've ever filled out an Intel app before, it will pre populate, and, and all you have to do is update, assign the new releases, and it should take you about three minutes. Okay. Well, thank you. What's your name again? So I'm my, my name's Shelly, and that, I'm the recruiter. Thank you very and much. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Go no, ahead. We, we are a very nice company to work for. We are not a mega carrier by any means, but we're not a small mom and pop operation either. We have been in business um, 40 years as of April next year, and we have a lot of long-term customers. We have stayed steady and stable freight. Okay. And I'm not just saying that because I'm the recruiter. <laughs> My boyfriend's a driver here. Okay, okay, okay. So we got. So I know firsthand. We got the best of both um, worlds going on right I, here. <laughs> I do, I do. So I know firsthand. Um, I'm not the the type of recruiter that's going to tell you what you want to hear to get you through the door. I'll be brutally honest with you. Okay. Ninety nine percent no touch freight. It's all general commodities. Okay. Anything from pet food to automotive parts, garage doors to merchandise for Kroger. Okay. Okay. Very okay. Good. Seventy percent drop and hook. Okay. And, um, you know, it's trucking. It is what it is. Exactly. There's live loads and unloads. Exactly. However, we do have some of the highest detention pay in the industry because we do want to make sure the driver is compensated for their time. Right, right. And I, I appreciate I appreciate the, all the information that, you, uh, that you've given to me. Um, and, and one thing that, that we do have that other companies don't is we do have Mr. Levy here in the office on a daily basis. He does know every driver by name. Okay. Okay. And we do have several drivers that have been with us over 20 years. And we have over 50 drivers and office employees who have been with us for over 10 years. Okay. Awesome. You can Google us. You can check our Facebook page out, check our website out, and make sure you check out our YouTube channel. Valvoline did choose us to film a commercial here because we do have a very clean shop. We have a very clean yard. There are no junk trucks. There's no trash. Our yard is paved. Okay. And we take very good care of our equipment. 
Very good. That is very good to hear. Awesome. 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 Well, Shelly, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate your candor and everything. And uh, I will definitely, uh, definitely keep this uh, information tucked under my shirt. <laughs> okay. And what was your name? My name is LaShawn. Okay. Well, I look forward to hearing from you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, now. Dick Levy, y'all. Man. Now, she was... She was uh, very excited about uh, telling me everything that Dick Levy has to offer. I mean... Dick Levy, y'all. Uh, they do offer a $1,500 uh, sign-on bonus. They are a small company. They're not a mega carrier, as she said. They're not a mom and pop. Uh, and she said that uh, the best thing is that Mr. Levy is at the uh, office all the time. So I guess if you have any trouble with your fleet manager or your fleet owner or anything like that, you can walk right in and talk to Mr. Levy and be like, look, dude, I have a problem that you can only solve. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, that's it. That's it for this episode of uh, Lockout Men's Makes the Call. Uh, I hope the information that I got for you and that she provided for you works out for you guys. Um, next episode will be, I don't know. I don't know who I'll make the call to. Hmm. You guys tell me who to make the call to next episode. And as always, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave it in the comments below, and I will most definitely will use them. Uh, thank you to Jarvis Jones um, for his uh, his um, his questions. Now, some of which they don't have. They don't hire straight out of. They don't hire straight out of. Uh, out of trucking school so the question about uh, the training period and stuff like that was kind of irrelevant because they want you to already be experienced before coming in there so I guess that's how they cut down on everything all right so lockout men makes the call check me out next episode y'all y'all take it easy have a blessed day I'll talk to y'all later Peace.